for Derek Fisher. And the second opportunity for Fisher now. So he has five points, only averaging 10 on the season. Harrington. And knocked out of bounds by Thomas. Lakers seem to have regained their composure now. This time they want to talk, though, as they bring the ball up. They want to talk it over. Timeout called, six and a half remaining. In this first quarter, Knicks 13, Lakers 7. Uh, for the Lakers in this recent run, winning seven of the last eight games, uh, Phil Jackson had said he'd like to see uh, Shaq more prominent in the offense, although Shaq has not uh, shown much lift. And I, I thought as Houston comes up with a steal, and then feeds Sprewell, beautifully done by Allen Houston. And another turnover by the Lakers, so the Knicks able to capitalize in transition. Knicks up 15 to 7. Here's Ori for 3. And uh, Houston helping out off the boards, able to get it off to Sprewell. There's Houston downtown, uncontested. They do not defend well against the three-point shot. They just don't come out. They don't close. Because that time they all ran under the basket. And Allen, you saw, was all by himself, too, alone, as he could not get it down. But I thought in the All-Star game, the Shaq re-injured the knee and the toe. He came out looking very frisky. You may recall the, the dribbling adventures that, that he put on. And, uh, I thought he got hurt. Nice play. Beautiful backdoor pass as uh, Ori was able to find Fisher on the hop. Fisher providing the offense now. He has seven points to this. Houston. Yes. Fox very late coming out. Oh, yeah, lackadaisical effort by Fox, though. He has to have some gusto to guard Houston from there. Knicks with a 17-9 advantage as we come up on five minutes to go. See the uh, Lakers missing Shaq. No reason to double team them right now. Rick Fox hits from downtown. The Knicks have hit seven of their first 11 from the field and a beautiful lead pass to a fellow Harrington. The Lakers comatose on the defense now. Not seeing the ball, not hustling over the screen. So the Knicks uh, sweet harmony on the offense. Fox, once again, trying the three. Bryant gets inside. Kobe Bryant able to spend himself over Kurt Thomas, who wisely held back, does not want to get in early foul trouble. Kobe averages seven bounds a game, so extraordinary leaping that time off the glass. Houston has the mismatch. There's Fox looking to help. Thomas. Harrington not able to get to the tip. Now Bryant being played by Isley shoots over him. Kobe Bryant, three of five for the field. He has six points, and Don Cheney wants to talk it over. Four minutes, three seconds to go. In this first quarter, hits the Knicks up by three. For Thomas, 24 points, 10 rebounds. Auspicious beginning here by the Knicks, as we just alluded to, but the Lakers now regain their composure. Fisher and Bryant providing the offense for the Lakers. And Nevin George and Slava Medvedenko have come on for the first time. There's a mismatch. That's what the Knicks wanted right here. Sprewell working on Fisher, but it's picked off by Bryant. Nicely back and gives the foul. Kobe among the leaders in steals, averaging two per game. Very alertly there. Watch Kobe overplay the passing lane. Actually, Spree just threw it right to him. Poor pass by Spree. There, the prudent thinking about how it is to deny the hoop by Kobe, so the Lakers have it there in the front court. Benvedenko oh, oh. now up front, along with Walker and George. Fisher and Bryant in the backcourt. Here's Bryant firing. Rebounded by Thomas. So Kobe is now three of seven from the field. Here's Isley for three. Kobe can get any shot he wants. That's why that's a poor shot for him, the previous shot. With his creativity, he should get any shot that he wants on the court. And what happens is he, he ends up not trusting his teammates. And that's why you're seeing some of these 40-plus uh, shot games earlier in the season. He had 47 shots 
season high in 46 minutes against the Celtics. That was an overtime loss in Boston in early November. Shaq was on the injured list. He was sidelined.